Salam, Real TV-də Azərbaycan-Braziliya münasibətlərindən danışacaq və elə təxminən bir neçə ay bundan öncə Braziliya-Azərbaycan parlamentar arası işçi qrupunun rəhbəri də Azərbaycanda olmuşdu, işxaldan azad olunan ərazilərə səfər etmişdilər və elə həmin vaxtdan etibarən də Braziliyanın Qarabağda aparılan, aparılmaqda olan bərpa quruculuq işlərində iştirak etməsi məsələsi də müzakirə olunmaqdadır. Bu və ya digər sualları Braziliya Federativ Respublikasının Azərbaycandakı fövqaladı və səlahiyyətli səfiri Manuel Montanegro ilə müzakirə edəcəyik. Müsələn, bəzədər, hello and thank you to accept our invitation. And we are in the embassy and we have a few questions. But before our relation, I mean relation between Azerbaijan and Brazil, exactly interesting for us current situation in Brazil in the post-pandemic period. Please. Well, I would say that the situation in Brazil has improved a lot, thanks basically to the industrial potential that we have for production of vaccines. So that after the first the first few months of uh, dependence from imports, uh, we had the contracts for the technology, and so now we are mass producing uh, vaccines. And the second item is that we have a very strong uh, vaccination culture from uh, polio, from other diseases, so that people are used uh, to, va to taking vaccines. And now most of our population has gotten two vaccines and, uh, and uh, millions of uh, elderly people are getting their, their booster shots. So the numbers of uh, hospitalizations and of deaths has yeah, dropped very vertically. Important. And, uh, and uh, well, we're waiting to see. Omicron, of course, is still on the horizon, but ho hopefully it's uh, not going to be as, as severe so we uh, we expect uh, 2022 to be the recovery of period. Uh, you are three here in Baku, and how are you assess the situation COVID-19 in Azerbaijan? Well, uh, in Azerbaijan, I think that uh, you started very fast with the, with the reaction. Of course, you had uh, the lockdowns, and as everybody else did, because we were all learning. But uh, over time. Uh, vaccination was successful and I think that um, now I feel very safe in Azerbaijan uh, with my mask of course with people uh, have gotten used to to wearing masks in public spaces in closed spaces uh, I think that uh, numbers are looking good for uh, we follow of course this uh, very attentively uh, and I think it's stabilized on the on the, on the good side uh, and one more question uh, about Brazil. There is a, you know, a crisis of grain in the world. Yes. And what p uh, preventive measures have been uh, taken in Brazil? Well, Cause you see, in, in, in Brazil... It's an important point yes, for the well, world. Yes, well, you know, uh, last year we had our, our largest trade surplus in history because of our exports of uh, food. Uh, we uh, guarantee... Uh, the food security of a lot of countries about uh, we we measure about 1 billion people uh, consume uh, Brazilian food products um, now this is not to say that we did not uh, suffer last year uh, last year we had a drought in Brazil we had problems uh, but we are looking forward to uh, a growth of 4 per percent this year and of course our contracts are long-term contracts, so they are being honored uh, normally. Although we had a, a difficult agricultural year compared to other years, but uh, we operate uh, with uh, such a, a large potential that even losing, like in coffee, we lost uh, 20 yeah. 25 percent almost. Uh, the big uh, players had already bought all the coffee they needed. So you'll see that uh, the big coffee brewing companies uh, ha are not going to raise prices, uh, at least not immediately, because they already bought uh, a, a year in advance 
and and this is the way we do it. Uh, we uh, we sell in advance. We manage so that uh, these crises, because agriculture is always subject to all kinds of weather events and so on and so forth. Uh, but uh, we have a very mature agri business, so yeah. so that uh, we deal with uh, with these kind of things on a routine basis. We're not not worried. <coughs> My next question, maybe traditionally, but it's very important. You know, the mm -hmm. how do you assess? Azerbaijan Brazilian relations well, current this time this is I a, think this it's a, is a big very important, yes, important uh, question, a big yes. question. Is in, in general I would say that uh, uh, they are at an excellent level uh, you recall uh, a recent visit by by a senator who's uh, the chair of our uh, friendship committee in the federal Senate uh, he was here uh, and he saw the Minister of Agriculture he talked to the Minister of the Environment he was received by the Speaker of the Midi Majlis, uh, Madame Gafferova. And um, in all of these meetings, um, it was clear that uh, there was a, a lot of goodwill on both sides yeah. to do things. It was the political uh, atmosphere between our countries is very good. And uh, we're waiting uh, for this pandemic period to be over, to go back uh, to a more normal uh, state of, of things. In, unfortunately, we had 18 months of uh, almost paralyzation, paralysis. Uh, the world was, was paralyzed. But now, over the last few months, uh, we feel things coming back to normal. So in November, we had this high-level visit. Yes, I know. Which was the, the first visit in a long time. Uh, although Actually, the last visit by uh, a senator and a uh, deputy in Brazil was just before the beginning of the pandemic. It was February 2020. That was when Senator uh, Anastasia was in Baku for the first time, and he was back in November 2021. So there's a very good dynamic. Next year, or ne this year actually, 2022. Sorry. In perspective, have, have vis any visits? Uh, we expect uh, a, a visit by uh, by his counterpart, uh, the uh, MP uh, uh, Mamadli, uh, Mushfiq Mamadli, who is the chair of the working group on uh, interparliamentarian relations, uh, Azerbaijan, uh, Brazil, and the Mili Majlis. So we're looking forward to to making this uh, this happen. So this is in general a, a very good uh, period to retake to go back to this uh, dynamic of of exchanges. Uh, maybe uh, in future develop the tourism uh, relations because many people going uh, during the holidays, during the vacations. Yes, yes. And Brazil, one of the uh, big mm -hmm. tourism countries in the world. Exactly. W well, you know, I was very glad to see that our consular section is uh, giving out visas for, for Azerbaijani citizens. Uh, this has not stopped, of course. It's, uh, we still have no, not a large number because Brazil yes. is still far away, but but tourism is, is one of the ways that people get together and get to know each other. It's a community, first of all. Yes, it's people to people contacts, cultural contacts. Uh, last year we worked together with the Ministry of Culture of Azerbaijan and we brought uh, two musicians from, from Brazil here to to the Mugam Center. Yes, I, uh, I it remember. Was, it was a, a beautiful moment, uh, excellent uh, exchange. And uh, as a result of that, uh, uh, your one of your foremost tar players, you know, Mr. Sahib, uh, was invited uh, to go to Brazil. Yeah. So, you know, the one thing leads to another, and uh, and people-to-people -people contacts are very important. Uh, what should be done between uh, to develop uh, relations between two countries on future? Well, uh, what do you think about this point? Uh, I would say that uh, in trade is 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 a good uh, is is a good example. Uh, you see, during the pandemic period, we had a drop in in trade uh, a little bit. We went uh, down to eighty million dollars on our exports to Azerbaijan. And uh, now we're up to 140 something. So, uh, and this is only from January to October oh. of 2021. So, uh, we picked up o on that. But not only that, but even more important, I think, for the long-term relationship, 
uh, is that uh, Azerbaijani exports grew tenfold <laughs> over the same period. So now Azerbaijan is selling about uh, 50 plus million dollars to Brazil. So, and, and uh, the important thing also is not only the number, but also that we are buying fertilizer from uh, Azerbaijan, urea, basically, which is key for our agribusiness section. So, so this is uh, something that shows you uh, how we can collaborate, because uh, um, our agribusiness needs a fertilizer, a lot of fertilizer. And I was uh, delighted to visit the plant of, uh, where, where you, you uh, manufacture urea, a very modern plant, up to you know, uh, the best standards in the world. And most of the production, I was surprised to see, goes to Brazil. Goes to Brazil. To Brazil. So uh, exports uh, to Brazil are, are on the, of the upswing. And of course, this is uh, uh, music to my ears. I mean, I, I see that our trade with Azerbaijan is growing, and I also hear that your trade with Brazil is growing. So this is a, a very good example of, of where our relations are going. Will Brazil participate in the construction of Karabakh? Because you remember last year the visit of the uh, head of the interparliamentary working group, Mr. Mm. Anastasia, yes, also came to Baku. You said he about he that. He visited yes. Arkham. And uh, what's the level uh, of the discussions? And well, uh, because the construction is a very main uh, point for Azerbaijan for this time, and this year is the Shusha year for Azerbaijan. It's the reconstruction year, the continue of reconstruction I jobs in Karabakh. I know it's. it's I'm, I'm. I'm really amazed at the at the breadth, at the scope of of the plans that you have for reconstruction, also at the speed with which things are being executed. Uh, as to Brazilian participation, uh, this is of course not uh, a short-term proposition. Uh, it, um, what I am looking forward to in this respect is that we have a meeting of an economic asp uh, area. We have a um, memorandum of understanding with Azerbaijan yeah. about <coughs> economic and investment cooperation. And we have been trying to organize a meeting. And I hope that 2022 will be the year in which we can meet together, sit down, and see what the opportunities are both ways. Rule so of previous this section. Would come, uh -huh. This would come, of course, as part of the conversation. Maybe previous section of Brazil interested in uh, reconstruction in Karabakh. Yes, uh, uh, it, it uh, would depend, of course, on, on uh, the plans that are being made and, of course, the conditions of participation and so on and so forth. And that's up to the private sector to, to look at. But uh, what we can do and we should do is to bring uh, the two sides together. And uh, once the conversation starts... Conversation, yeah. Uh, you see, as with fertilizer, of course, we had a conversation, something started. Suddenly, we're importing lots of fertilizer from, from Azerbaijan. So this is uh, our, our role, is bringing people to the table and people uh, starting conversations and, and uh, looking at what can be done. About the, um, uh, my last question about the exhibition which held in Haider Aliyev Center. Mm -hmm. uh, please explain for our audience. Oh, yes, that, uh, that was actually a, a, a Christmas gift. <laughs> Christmas gift, yeah. Christmas gift by, by the uh, Aliyev Foundation, especially the Vice President, uh, Leila Aliyev, who supported uh, the project to bring a top Brazilian artist to, uh, to Baku. And, uh, and she brought, as uh, I told her, that she brought the spring ahead spring. of time. Uh -huh. uh, we're still in winter, but the colors that uh, Nina Pandolfo brought to Baku are spring colors. And uh, two things about this uh, exhibition. Uh, one was that it uh, was the first exhibition at the Aliyev Center after the start of the pandemic, which I, I thought it was a great honor for Brazil yeah. to be a part of it. Uh, the second is that uh, the motivation behind uh, the artist's uh, work is twofold. One is um, showing the condition of being a woman, being a woman in the world. So it's a uh, lot of ethnicities, of women of many ethnicities, 
of many cultures, and she mixes those cultures and those ethnicities in her work. So she reflects uh, the Brazilian culture of uh, multi-ethnicity and uh, of, of tolerance, uh, which, by the way, is very similar to your own culture in Azerbaijan, you know, the, with uh, multi-ethnicity. And uh, the other uh, big motivation, uh, and the title of the exhibition actually is Gratitude. Gratitude. And I think that is so significant, because we should be grateful for where we are, that uh, we've overcome a very bad moment in the world. And so I, th I, I thought that this was a very significant to bring uh, the spring and gratitude uh, to the Aliyev Center. And um, thanks to the Foundation's generosity, this exhibition is still open. And so people in, in, in Baku and in Azerbaijan, I would encourage uh, people to, um, to go and, and uh, look at it. Uh, it's going to be open. Uh, at until uh, until summer. Until summer, have there any uh, uh, projects on future between uh, Embassy and Haider Aliyev Center? Well, uh, we'll see. Uh, that is a big that's a, that's a big uh, gift, as I as I said, because it was uh, mostly uh, their their initiative, and. Uh, I am looking forward actually to collaborating uh, with them and also with the Ministry of Culture. Yeah. We had um, this big uh, show last year uh, and this year uh, we will we're planning for a Brazilian uh, movie festival which would be the first and we're also planning uh, for a series of concerts uh, to mark our bicentennial year because oh. 2022 marks the 200th year of our independence and uh, so we're looking forward to working with the Ministry of Culture and the Philharmonic okay. uh, to do a series of, of concerts. Mr. Ambassador, thank you so much for interview, thank we discussed very, very important points and thank you again. Thank you very much and uh, let's have a very good year. Thank you, you too. Azerbaijan, Brazil ve bundan ileri gelen bir sıra diğer meselelerden danıştık ve hem sohbetimiz ise Brazilya Federatif Respublikası'nın Azerbaycan'daki fevkalade ve selayetli seferi Manuel Montenegro'ydu. Salamat kalın.